Hey, welcome to another match. And it's fine. Breeding pool untapped. This could be some rug. Uh, this is Wednesday, the first day after the new unbannings. So this is probably some rug. Uh, Jason, Bloodbraid Elf. Bullshit. Mm, so next turn I get to go Ravager Pest Pest. Or Pest Pest Ravager. Hmm. Probably Pest Pest Ravager. Of course if he taps out it doesn't matter, but I think Pest Pest Ravager is probably correct. Hmm. Correction. The correct play is actually Ravager Overseer. <laughs> this looks like a lightning bolt. On the Ravager. Fine with me. Much rather the Steel Overseer live. Let's see what happens. Probably Blood Raid Elf. Maybe a Jace bounce. See, the problem with this Blood Raid Elf is it's not a removal spell. <laughs> And so I'm untapping with Ravager, and sure, you got yourself a Zero Envisions. Go you. Master. I think I'm more in for the Master than I am for playing that pest. Looking good. Looking good so far. And there's one more term on that turn on that ancestral visions. I wonder what this is. Cryptic. Jace. Bounce the master, probably. Jace brainstorm. Well, you know. Brainstorm is a good card, but 4 mana sorcery speed Brainstorm is not quite as impressive. Oh man, Jace, the scourge of the format. Oh no. Could do with a couple Thought Seizes. I suppose Blast is a good way to take out a Jace if he casts one. This is going to be pretty nice here. Hmm. Probably going to cast Ravager Thought Seize next turn. Unless he's got a bunch of removal. Not even a bunch, just any removal prevents me from getting the artifact count for Mox Opal.
Hmm. This might even be a matchup where I want Gear of Wraithred. Hard to know really how to sideboard against Rug, because no one's been playing Rug since there were no Jaces or Bloodbraid Elves. So I don't really know what they're playing, other than apparently Noble Hierarchs, Jaces, and some draw spells. I feel like putting Jace and Bloodbraid in the same deck is not going to go as well for you as you hope. I mean, they're both 4 mana. This is probably going to get countered. I'm going to guess his hand is like Bloodbraid, Bloodbraid Jace. Mm, Bolt the Ravager, sure. It even gives me a damage this turn. Ooh, that's kind of annoying. EE -E is irritating. I'm going to just take the Ancient Grudge, though. At the moment, if he EEs on one, which is where most of my cards are, he kills his own Noble Hierarchs. If he EEs on two after spreading seizing, then he gets rid of the spreading seize. It's just sort of an awkward number for him. Grudge is annoying though. See if I can get him to bolt that or grudge that. Fast. And then Ravager. And then if he grudges the Ravager, then I put it on this pest, and then he explosives and three for twos himself. I guess he is the one with a bunch of card advantage, but still. Even a Jace isn't particularly scary here, because he, what, brainstorms and then I kill it? I suppose, like, blood braiding into Ancestral Visions would be really powerful him for him, but... So far, he's just not drawing lands. Sure. Guess I have a bunch of removal spells. I actually kind of not what I want to draw when he's going to wipe out everything. Have actual blue mana. Fear me. Alright, well, the 2 2 Master of Ethereum with no other creatures to pump is not very impressive, but. Could be worse. Jace. This looks like a Jace. No, this looks like a blood raid. I want to draw basically any artifact. Three damage. 
Yeah, I suppose I'll get rid of that so I can get in for damage. top. Scoos. So far, so good. He could draw something really nasty, but... Electrolyze is mostly completely irrelevant. Sure. I mean, Kitchen Things gains him a bunch of life, but he's still... not gaining ground against me like this is he's playing a bunch of like random value things but they're getting grind out grinded like I think the only way he realistically comes back into this game is a second engineered explosives on three which is unlikely most lists do not run more than one or a um Blood Braid Cascade into Ancestral, but he might have just cited out all the Ancestrals, because other than Blood Braid into them, they're kind of too slow for affinity. Creeping Corrosion would also be pretty good, or Shatterstorm, but I don't expect either of those, since he's playing... Um, well, I guess that's pretty effective. Except for the part where he's at 1. All right, Blood Braid into Hierarch dev does not win. Well, taking down Blood Braid Rug. Guess it's maybe not the new boogeyman in the format. 